Estrogen can come as a pill, a patch, or a cream. Now, the patch and the cream is called a transdermal approach or transdermal dosing because the medicine is going through your skin. That's where the dermal comes from. Trans means across, and it's getting into your blood system through the skin. Pills, on the other hand, obviously go into your stomach. They get digested. The stuff that gets digested through your gastrointestinal tract, through your stomach and your intestines, first goes to the liver and then goes to the rest of the body, and that's called first pass metabolism. Because of that effect on the liver, it can change some of the liver functions, in particular, it can increase your lipids um, or your cholesterol. The transdermal approach does, eventually it will get to the liver, but doesn't go to the liver in that big dose right away. And so because you don't get that immediately, immediate dose to the liver, transdermal approach will not have the same bad lipid effects or bad cholesterol effects, and so it's a little bit safer. And for the vast majority of people, the pills, the patches, or the cream are all safe. But if you already have some kind of cholesterol or lipid problem, you might consider either the patch or the cream because you'll have less of an effect on that. The patch is a little patch that goes on your skin. Um, you can put it um, on the backside, on the buttocks, or up here, um, just uh, sort of above the groin. Um, or any place that doesn't have skin. And you generally want to rotate that patch around. The patch works well. You change it twice a week, um, or some people will say every three days, uh, and it gives you a continuous dose of estrogen doing it that way. The convenient part about the patch is you only have to deal with it twice a week. The inconvenient part is you have to wear a patch all the time. And sometimes the adhesive on the patch can eventually cause some skin irritation. Uh, and for some people, they say it's hard to get the adhesive off. A little rubbing alcohol usually will do the trick. But the big complaint we get with the patch is that it can cause some skin irritation. It's safe to swim with the patch or take a shower with the patch, but sometimes it can cause it to fall off, which can also be annoying. The other thing about the patch is pretty expensive. So the patch is the most expensive thing that we sell, but for some people it's worth the price and they like it. And so that's a good alternative. The patch only has estrogen. So if you have a uterus, or if you don't, but you want progesterone treatment, then you have to take additional progesterone. We usually offer that in the way of a oral capsule. Cream is, an, is the other transdermal approach. And we compound the cream specifically to the specifications for your particular situation. And so we have an absolutely fantastic compounding pharmacy. And they make these creams in the pharmacy to my specifications according to what you need. So the cream is really individualized and it's nice in that we can change the different levels in the cream and the cream can contain both estrogen and progesterone, so it makes it much more simple. The cream is, for women that need estrogen and progesterone, the cream is the most affordable way to go. Again, because we make it ourselves, we can keep costs down and individualize it, but also make it a little bit less expensive. And I think because of all these reasons, the cream is our most popular therapy um, that we have. The pills are little pills that you take every day, just like other pills that you might take. They're a good way to use uh, hormone replacement therapy as well. And so it really mostly comes down to personal preference.